Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you how to add metadata on Squarespace. First I'll show you what the heck is metadata. So metadata is telling the search engines what your website is about before they really even crawl or look at the rest of the content on your page. So in a functional perspective, this is what appears right here. So this uh, purple or blue will be your title tag. And then underneath it, you'll see your meta description. There's also things like meta tags, which are a little bit more involved. We won't talk about those, but these are the two most common forms you'll see is the title and the description. So when you go into Squarespace, if you're editing something, um, your page settings will have an SEO section, which is great. And I love that this one shows you what's what you're looking at here. So what's interesting is it says services one because we have copied this page from another page titled services. So what we need to do is change that because we've since deleted that page. Um, or if we made this an about page or something else, we'll change it to services. And then you can add the description here. So what you'll see here is that I actually didn't have one for my main blog page. I write them in a description for every individual post, but apparently I didn't have one for just designbylady.com slash blog. So it basically just chose something that was on there. There's not a lot of text on that page because most of it just links to my other blog posts. So it looks a little bit wonky compared to this, which is just nicely written, tells what my website is about, is exactly what I want it to be, includes my keywords, etc. So you don't want Google to be assuming your meta information. You want to be giving it the data that it puts out there because it's going to look a lot nicer. So you can add your description like these are our services. We are doctors. This is, <laughs> this is for my dad's office. He's a doctor and I'm building him a little website. So this is going to give you your SEO description and it shows you up here what it's going to look like, which I really love. You can also choose here to hide it from search results or whatever you want to do. So then you can just save that super easy in general. If you don't have um, this information listed, it's just going to choose whatever's first on the page or whatever most people look at. But that really only goes into play if you're if you get a ton of traffic. So when you go in here, it's going to choose uh, whatever the title of the page is kind of over here or when you copied it over or what the slug is, which is what happens after the URL. So this would be like gasandfamily.care.com slash services. Um, so it's going to choose whatever's there. You saw that it chose what we had copied from another page. Um, and then for the SEO description, it's going to choose whatever like first on the page. Uh, so you want to go ahead and change that to make it really fit with the keywords that you want and sh make people want to click. The whole point of a meta description is to tell what your page is about and then to make people excited to click on your page. Another thing that you really want to put metadata on is your images. So I'm going to go into this one and click edit. Um, the alt text is really going to be the title of your image that's going to be searchable. And this basically tells the search engines because they can't read an image. They don't have eyes they are more like algorithms that are searching through text. So this is going to tell them what the image is about. Um, this defaults to the file name, which is right here. And you can see it's kind of like added plus signs and just it's a little bit crazy. So you don't necessarily want to leave it at that because no one's really going to be searching that. One thing you can do is change your file name before you upload the photo if you're batch exporting. Um, for instance, in this case, we might do like gas and family care providers, and then we would batch export it so that every picture would be gas and family care providers one, providers two, et cetera. Um, the ones and twos aren't great for search, but it's okay to have that in there and it's just gonna make your life a little easier. Um, another thing you can do is just change the alt text here. So we would say like um, Gastonia medical providers is a good option. I wouldn't do something that doesn't match the image at all because that's going to um, confuse people. So if they Google it and they click images and something comes up that's totally unrelated, for instance, I'm a stationary designer. So if I had a picture like this, but I put gold foil stationary, yeah, it might show up in searches, but it's not going to be what people want. So I'm eventually going to get kind of an SEO hit because of that. Not a hit in a bad way, not a hit in a good way. So you want to change that um, to say something that's relevant to the photo, not necessarily just relevant to your main keywords or whatever this page is about. And then the file name, um, it's not necessarily going to show, but it can show in some context. So if you want to keep this private or a little bit more general, you can change it either to the same thing or something um, slightly different. We'll just change it to the same thing. 
And that will save. So that is how you add your metadata on Squarespace. Um, I do have another video showing you how to do this on other platforms as well. Um, and I hope that you will check out our SEO playlist as well as some of our blog posts if you're new to SEO, because I would love to help you get started on showing up more in search results and getting more clients the easy way. Thanks, everybody.